so I have a message that I would like to speak on. My message is when you ask God to reveal something or ask him to tell you or show you the way, be mindful of everybody it's coming from. And so what I mean by that is roughly, possibly, maybe mm, we're in 24 now. So I'll say maybe about two, I'll go back 24, 25, 26, 27 months ago. I asked God for clarity in something and show me the way if this is not for me, open my eyes. Throughout that process, he opened my eyes. People, I got advice from people. Some people told me, um, don't do it. That's not the best move for you. Um, just everything under the sun. And at that moment, I did not realize that was God talking to me the entire time. I never said that people weren't or hating on me or anything. Um, I never said they were jealous. I failed to listen to God. I failed to listen to what I asked him to do was send me a message, send me the red flag, send me everything that I needed to know. Send me everything. Like, give me everything. Like, if this is not for me, if this is bad for me, block this from me. And sometimes he may not block it from you. But he will send everybody along the way to help you with, that is not the best move for you. Don't do it. Needless to say, um, I didn't make the right decision. And I can admit to that. I can admit to that. I had to go back and really take some self-dive and let those people know. In a sense, I had to humble myself and say, you were right. At that moment. God was doing what I asked him to do. And the message that I would say in today is when you ask God to reveal something for you, whether it be a promotion, whether it be um, relationships, whether it be whatever the case it may be, when you ask God to show you and if this is not right, please make it Make it, show it to me, drop it in my face. Be mindful of sometimes. It may come from some of the closest people around you. Don't think it has to come from a friend, um, a far friend, a person in the street, someone that don't even know you, and they may send a message. It may come right directly from your mama, your spouse, a best friend. Because sometimes he speaks through other people and he will give them the message to relay to you. Through all of that, there's been some valuable lessons taught to me. Valuable, valuable lessons. Valuable lessons that I can't... Um, I would go back and change. However, I can't change what is done. Um... But if I could, I would. Uh, if I could, um, there are some people that I could have done without in my life. Now, I can. I've always been told that some people are brought in your life for a season. Some people are brought in your life for the long term. Some people are brought in your life to teach you a lesson. 
some people um and some people are just god given some people have the spirit of being i've met some cool people friends and and some of them are genuine friends they don't want anything from you um everything is genuine about them it's not a need from you um even in our moments of disagreements we come back and and we can get it together and then there are some they relish into their um how do i say this they relish in their wallow in their victims i guess i guess that's what i would say victims um victims to situations they cause however i want to stay on topic when you ask god for something be very specific about it but also be mindful when you are praying about something that next move that next thing or praying like god if this is for me please let it be for me or if you are thinking about maybe leaving let's just say hypothetically you're going to branch out on your own and you have this major six-figure paying job and you want to do something else make sure that um when you ask god for those messages listen to everybody some people are not hating on you some people are not saying they want what you have some of those messages are just coming straight from god and he's using their voice to talk to you um that's what I wanted to talk about today is the message that God has for us and how we receive it. It's all built on, it's based on who it comes from. We receive things totally different. It's just like I've had friends who I can give advice to. They won't listen. I tell you don't go down that road, you want to go right down that road. They won't listen. Somebody else can say the same thing that don't even know them. Maybe put a little different spin on it. But it's ultimately the same thing. They had an epiphany at that point. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I saw the light. I said the exact same thing. However, however the message is relayed, as long as you get it, I guess. Hopefully, it's not too late. There's been some messages for me. Have been too late. Um, and I've had to take that in strides. I've had to take that. Sometimes we have to take those messages with your tail tucked between your legs. Sometimes you have to take those messages, um, and you have to keep your head up. I will say this here. You don't make the same mistake twice. So now that I can truly, truly say I understand when God was talking to me. Now I know it comes from so many sources that sometimes you may not even want to hear it from. Um, through it all, I'm blessed. Um, the favor of God is over me. Um, there's never been really wants. Um, I am grateful for everything. Um, throughout this, I've had a lot of time to think. I've had a lot of time to just sit down and just really have conversations with God about some things that I need to take place. I've had time to spend with my new baby that I got. Um, for turning 35. Stop, Duke. For turning 35. My English bulldog. He's my heart. I just love him so much. Um, and a lot of times people don't understand that these little pooches here are and can be a form of therapy. And I know mine is. He's my heart. Although he gets on my ever-loving nerves, I love him to death. Him and his brother. 
I think that's the end of my message for today. Listen to the people around you. They don't hurt you and they don't want to see you hurt. Um, yeah, listen to the people around you. That's the best advice I can give you. And when you pray for something and you ask God for it, know that he may come through other people and some of the ones you least suspect. Don't think that they are trying to hurt you. Please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.